we're looking at the Grand Canyon and <coughs> yeah it's pretty intense it doesn't look as good through this camera it doesn't look as um, vast through this lens but I just want to share my feelings <coughs> about the Grand Canyon and I want to share my feelings about the Grand Canyon too The thing is, what blows me away is that the very God who spoke the, the universe into existence. He spoke, he said let there be light and there is light. He said let there be you know, darkness, let there be earth, let there be oceans. And he made all of this just by saying it. He didn't, the only resource he had was his power, his almighty divine sovereignty to speak the world into existence and yet he humbled himself to die for our sins because he loves us so much he wants to set us free from the consequence of sin which is his wrath so he died to save us from his from his judgment because he's perfect something has to be paid for our sins and the only qualification, the only person qualified to, to die, to take the place of a sinner, is God himself. So the maker of the universe loves us so much that he would save us from his perfect judgment by dying for us, even though he's perfect and made the world this big and vast. It just blows me away every time I think about it. And he resurrected to prove that he conquers death, he's a beyond.